Konnichiwa, Mina Sisakura, and you're watching Pucky Collins today's 10 minute first person video is going to be on a Game Boy game. And that is SD Lupin Sensei Ginko Yobari Daisek Kusan. And. Oh, I know that it's based off of Lupin the Third. Other than that, I have no idea, except for what we just saw in the demo, what the game's going to be about. It's a puzzle game, I guess. And I'm quite excited to see what we get to do. I guess we're supposed to drop people? I, I have no idea. I have no words. So, anyways, 10 minutes to play the game. First time playing the game, a version of, and I can't skip anything. Look at that timer started. Timer's been started, and away we go. Okay. So we get to pick who we go against, I guess. Okay. Let's do this. Stage. Round one. Ready. Okay. Hmm. Okay. So we collect the key and we attack. Oh. Okay. This is actually pretty cool. So we get the key, we destroy everything, then we collect the treasure. Okay, I like this. Which means the game's gonna be really hard. Okay, gotcha. Round two, alrighty. Nice. Okay. I was wondering what the heck we're supposed to be doing in this level. That's pretty cool. You can call your comrades. I like that. That's really cool. I like that. <gasps> Dang it. Nice. Luckily, I didn't need a key for that level. Oh, crap. It's because I already collected a key. Okay. Alright. Now I just gotta figure out what I'm supposed to do. Uh, next one. Okay. No! I jumped! Dang it! Not jumped fast enough. Darn! That's hard. Okay, so does that mean... Very, oh, okay, so yeah, it is selecting who you're going to go against. Old hag stage. Okay. Crap, how do I... How in the world... Okay, that was a bad thing. It freezes everybody. Yeah. <gasps> 
Okay, so they, the people can actually walk up on it. I did not know that. That's good to know. Oh, and the star one's bad. Okay. So, I'm so confused. Nope. Can't jump that far. How am I supposed to do that level? Wow. Okay, let's try this one. Now I have a ninja and a knight. I got to watch this series, man. I've only watched like the first episode and one of the movies. I know, shame on me. Once again, I'm having that problem. <gasps> Crap! That wasn't fair. I saw them too late. Crap. Okay. So I can get over here. Hmm. But this is where I'm having trouble. Because I stand on it too late. Oh! Nice! I was not expecting that. Sweet. Yay! I got another treasure! Round two! Ready! Crap. I can't stop moving. Okay, so I guess I have to get over there. Okay, he's down this one, so let's go down this one. Oh, hey, there's a treasure. Lucky! Nice. Well, that was quite a nice surprise right there. Woohoo! Let's see what I can do. Round three, ready, go. Okay. Nope. How do I do that? That's challenging. Okay, let's go to creepy kid looking person. Okay, it's a skeleton with a freaking laser! Now I really want to see the series. Skeleton with laser stage. Round one. Ready. And a freaking a robotic crab. Huh. 
Oh, and also there's going to be other lasers. Yep. Okay. Hmm. This is not going to be easy. Oh, come on! I timed that just right. Good. Can't wait for it. There it goes. And gotta go. And there goes the timer. Ha! <laughs> That's horrible. This is such a weird puzzle game. But I like it. It's just, wow, it gets really, really hard. And I'm trying to think, okay, how am I going to get to those different uh, spots? Wow. I'm quite impressed. This is a clever game. Of course, when it comes to actually beating everything, is what's going to be uh, the hard one. I'm happy that it lets you continue, though. That's a nice little thing. So, I mean, I'm genuinely excited about this one it's hard has exactly the type of gameplay I'm looking for and it will be fun to go through and see just how much harder the game can get I mean I'm already stuck like on every practical level or uh, stage now but that'll be fun to actually be able to complete each of them to see where it can go very clever just making it a, an interesting play because of all the mechanics. Ooh, I'm liking this. So, my question for you guys is, when it comes to anime uh, games, what's some of the weirdest ones you've had the opportunity to play? Um... I'd have to say my weirdest one would probably be Love uh, Hina PlayStation 1 game because it uses the PlayStation Pocket, or Pocket Station, sorry, the, the Pocket Station, and you are using that as your main gameplay. So then you have to, you know, do mini games, get the girls to like you that way, and then on the PlayStation 1 game, you get to unlock... Um, I think videos, uh, pictures and stuff like that. But I think that was my weirdest one just because it's kind of like you're like, what? And then, of course, for something a little stranger is I have a Hello Kitty um, fortune telling game. And it's like, <laughs> out of all of them, why Hello Kitty and fortune telling going together? It works, but it's still bizarre. Not bad a game, though. You know, it's it's what it is, but it still is like, hmm, I'm happy to have this. And then for one that's just kind of weird, I have a Hanafuni game based on the those who hunt elves. And basically you're reliving, I think, the first season... And every time there's a junction in the story, you have to play Hanafune. And you need to win to advance the story. It's so weird. But I like it. So let me know down in the comments below about some of the ones that you played that you thought were weird. Love to hear about them. And thank you guys for watching. This was a lot of fun to try out. This is Tisa Kura saying ciao and sayonara.